Hello online pipe community. Ethan, Parsimonious Piper here. It's after work today. Boy, today got away from me. But today we have a Parsimonious Pipe. So let's take a look at it. This is a Briar Lee Bent Billiard. Mm, billiard, brandy, maybe a little more brandyish than billiardish. In it, in it, I am smoking the first bowl from a full tin of <clears throat> Daughters and Ryan's Rimboche AB, which is now unobtainium. They stopped making it a while back, which is a true shame because it's a delicious blend. I will be smoking it all week and talking about it next Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you, Terry Snarfflat Piper. Uh, where can I put that and get relit? Yes, you just heard me relight a match with my Zippo. Oh, that's good. Let's take a closer look. This one came in relatively clean, but with a few spots of some kind of gunk tarred up on the outside and in, in some of the carving, that cleaned up fairly nicely. The stem was badly underclocked. We'll get to that in a bit. Focus here on the rim. The rim was not just a little sooted, it was burnt. Uh, I did sand that down just a little bit to smooth some of that out, but I didn't take it all the way through as always because I like to leave a little reminder of whoever owned it before me. Here you can see just how badly underclocked it was before I got a hold of it. I did manage to straighten that out pretty well. The internals were pretty dirty. As you can see in that top picture, there was some kind of gunk all the way through that stem. And uh, and we'll get to that, what the result of that in just a minute. You can also see uh, the stem uh, in the upper picture. It looks like somebody had chiseled into that. But the internals did clean up, took a lot of pipe cleaners, a lot of alcohol. Alas, when the stem came to me, it did not have this piece broken out. However, the first time I ran a pipe cleaner through it, from the screw side, the tenon side, this split immediately. As soon as that pipe cleaner got shoved through, a piece cracked off the bottom. And in fact, uh, you can't see it from here, uh, but that same motion uh, cracked a piece from the top as well. Now it looks to me like somebody tried to shave this, the stem down coming into the button. That just looks like somebody chiseled away at it and it was super thin. So I filled it in with a uh, black super glue and sanded it down back down to a normal shape. As you can see in the bottom, I have not buffed all of the uh, sanding marks out yet. I wanted to get this uh, this pipe out in video today. Uh, I'll, I'll be going back over that with some micro mesh to get those uh, sand marks out. But you can see that it, it did, in fact, the ho the hole did, in fact, uh, fill in fairly well. Let's take a little closer look at some of the repair. Now, in these first two pictures, uh, the top and the middle, you can see the repair. You can see where the cracks were. The plastic piece, uh, I was able to line it back up and get that super glued in and then fill in that chiseled area with super glue. And for the most part, I, I did get that part sanded out uh, so that it's really not all that visible or, or it won't be once I get the sanding marks completely buffed out. On the top view, you can see the split just a little uh, more. I will probably go back and fill that in again with black super glue and sand it back down until it is smooth and see if I can get that line to disappear. However, it should be noted, I am repairing this stem to make it smokable. Unlike somebody like uh, the Southland Piper who does just an incredible job of truly restoring stems to their uh, former beauty to where you can't even see the repair, or if you can, it's only barely visible. My goal here is to make this smokable. If I have to repair it again, I'll just repair it again, but I think it's going to manage to stick this time. Taking a look at the bottom picture, you can see how I filled in uh, pretty well that part that was chiseled out. It is smooth on the top and the bottom coming right into the button uh, from both sides. 
for $21.99, tax and shipping included. This is still not bad, even with that uh, button repair. The pipe itself uh, really is just such a, a nice little, nice little smoker. And a shape that I did not have in my collection. So, nice addition, cheap pickup, a little bit of work. Adam, Piper Wondering, has uh, just hit his uh, 300 subscriber mark. Yes. And he would like us to highlight uh, a couple of channels that are under 300 subs in order to play along in his giveaway. Now, please do not include me in this giveaway. Got too much stuff as it is. But I would like to highlight another couple of 300 of uh, sub 300 sub channels um, as I congratulate you for hitting that milestone. Now, I've, I've got a lot of channels that I follow that are under 300 subscribers, tons of them. So I sorted the ones that I know by, uh, uh, by sub count and uh, got them up to, or, or picked the, the top two that were under 300. Got lucky and came up with a couple of good channels that way. Uh, the first is Badger Ash. Now, he does not post as often as he once did. But he is a wonderful gent. He's told some good stories. In fact, if you go back and find the video in which he tells the story of how he got his nickname, that, that's a rather humorous one. Drop in. I, I think you'll like him. The second one, yes, the second one is Golden State Pipe Smoker. He posts a little more regularly, he posts um, some pretty good reviews. He, he goes a lot more in-depth than I do uh, in his reviews of blends and has very different tastes than I. So if you're bored by my reviews, go check him out. I think you'll like his stuff. Uh, he, he does very nice uh, blend analyses. So there are two sub 300 sub channels that I follow and enjoy. Links will be down below. Drop by, give them a look. I think you'll like them too. With that, folks, lights at me like. Enjoy your evening.